Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And you've already read the title, so today we're taking a look at the Adidas Harden Volume Three. Oh my God! It just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? To me, keeps getting better and better. Let's get it. Now, before we get into it, massive thank you to the lovely people of Proderick Basketball for sending these through. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. If you want to grab your pair of the Harden Volume 3, what should I go to me? Head over to the link in the description. Click the link, obviously, that's how, that's how links work. That's how they work. You have to click on it. You have to click and then it's going to load you a new page. Right? Yeah. So it's going to take care of all that. And where, where will it send them to me? It's going to send them to the product page of the Harden Volume 3. Uh, super easy. And when they get there, what, what, what can they then do? There'll be options. There'll be options. Right. Name the main right. option. One of the main options is your size. Your size. So we'll get into more like what's helping you pick that size, of course. Once you pick that size, mm. what does that there prompt you to do? There are three words. Three very, very important words. Right. Add to cart. No? Are you, are you following? Are you with us? You know what to do from there. And of course, if you enjoy our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we have a ton yes. of great Pure Kick stuff coming your way. Yes. So subscribe to the channel and of course, follow us on our social medias at This Is Pure Kicks across the board to see our shenanigans yes. because you want to see that as well. So now talking about the Harden Volume Threes, Timmy, I think you and I both agree the thing that stood out to us the most was the fit. And this is no surprise because it was the thing that stood out to us the most with the Volume 2s. Talk to them, my guy. I mean, exactly that. It stood out the most in the Volume 2, so it should be a kind of an evolution. Yeah. An evolution, evolution into the 3. And it did just that. <laughs> evolution team. My guy. Obviously. So, if you've seen even our IGTV on our Instagram, we talked about socials a second ago. Mm -hmm. The first impressions is on there. Putting them on. Awesome. Straight to foot. Felt really nice around the foot. Very, very sock like. Mm. I don't know how, but very sock like. Lush, so, lush. Lush, very lush, very lush, very lush, 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 Amazing stuff. Truly, truly amazing. Love the fit, it did the absolute trick. So, with all that being said, it's a nine. 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 The thing that I love about this shoe the most, right, is I say it over and over again. I have what you call a regular slash wide foot. Timmy has what you would call a regular slash long foot. Narrow foot. But why do you right? keep adding long here? Because your foot is long, bro. You keep telling me we're the same size and we're not. Yeah, the we're not the same size. size. You keep telling me, oh, no. I'm a size 10 and you're a size 12. I'm you're a long 12. I'm telling you. How did we get to long 12? Only one 12. Tell me the long 12. And the shoe took care of both of us. So thank you, Harden Volume 3s. Much appreciated. 9 out of 10. So next up, talking about cushioning. I mean, we already know it's Boost. It's live. Now, the thing about Boost is, it's right? Live. Think about, sorry, we had Boost in the volume two. Yeah. We have a little less Boost. It's live. In the Harden three. We did. But for good, good reason. We did. Timmy, what's, what's, this, what's the cushioning inside there? Why have you stood up? <laughs> this, <laughs> Just mention the cushioning. What's the cushioning in there? It's Boost. It's live. So, I mean, there's already Boost in the shoe. I know. You know there's Boost it's in live. this shoe. Boost is there live. was Boost. In the volume two, boost is life. Why am I all blurred out? As if I've lost focus. <laughs> <laughs> so in the heart of volume three, they took out a little bit of boost. It's a lot of boost they took out, bro. Yeah, they got a lot. <laughs> like they took a lot yeah, of boost. Like, they like half their amount of anything. A lot. It's a lot. Boost is gone. It's a lot less boost. What does that do? Makes the shoe a little lighter. Mm -hmm. A lot lighter, I lied. It's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. It's a, lot lighter. Lighter. It's a, it's a whole different level of lightness. It's a whole Harden Volume 2 lighter. It is hard. As if like, shoe. both shoes were on one foot, exactly. one away, yeah. got a lighter shoe. So that's great. Court fill is up there. You're definitely close to the court, which is perfect. It's what, what you feels need. Great. It's what you need. It's what you need. But you still get that life cushioning. So you're really getting everything you need when we're talking the hardened free and cushion. Everything. Absolute trick. That being said, it's a nine. It's a nine. Why is it a nine to me? Why is it not a 10? <sighs> Why isn't it a 10? I think the sheer amount of boost that we had in the last shoe mm. was so mind boggling. It was overwhelming. It was so, so sexy on the It was a lot of Like boost. it was overwhelmingly, disgustingly amazing. 
that we had to give it a 10. Yeah. Now that we're back on planet Earth and we feel what normal boost should feel like in a boss. What boost should, should feel like, yeah. Yeah, you clocked it. Yeah, that's We've right. We've got 9 out of 10 boost. Yeah, that's what it should be. That makes sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, this is Timmy from the future. And as we're editing this video, we realized that that whole spill made absolutely no sense. So what we were trying to say is that the Adidas Harden Volume 2 cushioning was 10 out of 10, overwhelmingly disgustingly amazing. But Adidas fine tuned it here in the Harden Volume 3, adding court feel, comfort was still there, responses were still there. So really, it's a better cushioning system. Still boost, but a better version of it. So it should still be a 10 out of 10. So, of course, we should have scored it a 10 out of 10, and that's what we're going to do now. So, sorry about that. Get on with the video in a bit. Yeah. Moving on to the materials in the Harden Volume 3, what we have is very simple but very effective. We have this overall textile mesh construction with these synthetic overlays and this rubber band that Timmy's about to grill any second now. You damn right I'm about to grill this band. Right, look, yeah. This is the reason why Fit didn't get a 10. I'm sorry, Fit. Right? The material of it is great. It's elastic. Good job. Well done. It's pain. It's pain. I get that. Yeah. But I've only worn them once mm -hmm. and it's stretched out. Why? I don't know. Why are you stretching, bro? It's stretched and it's only off for one wear. That's the issue with me. Even during the wear, the first time I had them on, I felt this part of the foot loosening up, no. which I didn't feel in the two. But for some reason, it just. It didn't loosen to where it's conformed to the foot. It just overdid it. It over loosened. Nah, nah, long. And now you can kind of see there's even space in the shoe, if that makes sense. It's still, it's, it's tough. You put them back on, it hasn't gone back to it. It's overstretched. I was frustrated. I'm still frustrated. But they're all pretty good materials. Yeah, the textile they did the trick across the shoe, everywhere else. The fit was still banging. Durability? Thanks to the materials. Durability? Durability's there. Textile does its thing. Textile mesh is fantastic. Breathable as well. Yeah. Just a little bit, not massively, but yeah. Lots of good things to say. Lots of good things to say about the material. Now, taking all of that into consideration to me, what would you score the materials? After all of that, yeah. still going to get an eight, which is, which is fantastic. It's, it's fantastic still gonna materials. Get an eight. Fantastic materials. Next up, talking about the traction in the Harden Volume 3s, what we have is this multi directional herringbone pattern which absolutely did the trick. Tradition. It was good. It did what it says on the tin. Basically. And that is what you want when you buy tins. Tins? Now with this particular colorway, what we have is a mixture of translucent and hard rubber. Now, some may say it's the best of both worlds. I don't agree. Um, I don't know why you'd mix up the translucent and the solid rubber because it, that, that doesn't really make sense to me. You should just have one because one of them grips the floor a certain way when the other doesn't. So one is surely going to get in the way of the other. For example, you're playing, outdoors, you you're playing outdoors in these, I feel like the translucent would get in the way of the hard rubber. Yeah. And indoors, translucent is traditionally better it indoors than, a, than a, you know, solid rubber. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I, I know. I guess you're trying to say. It's weird. It is weird. Do you like it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Timmy. What do you think? What do you think, Timmy? I'm rocking with it. Like, I liked it on our dusty course, like we always speak mm -hmm. about. It didn't pick up too, too much stuff. It held up really, really well. Um, definitely not fully consistent. Okay. But a consistent enough. I'm glad for you it liked it. To be a seven. I'm glad you be a seven. A seven. Lucky. So lastly, talking about the support. Now there are usual suspects. We've got the outrigger shape. We've got the internal hill counter. The lacing system along with that band we spoke about earlier and of course the overall fit of the shoe. Yeah. All of them come together well. Obviously, I didn't like how the fit of the band did its thing and obviously loosened up, but the shoe is extremely low. Mm -hmm. Now I'm being a little biased, but I just, I can't really rock too hard with low shoes. I hear you. Just not too, too hard. These are just too low. I hear you. I like it though. Yeah, I know you mess with I like it. it. I know I like you do it. and you should. Because if you mess with low shoes, mess with low shoes. But these are hella low though. Yeah. I mean, you can see from even where the back just dips. Yeah. It's almost like a roller coaster. It's almost too much. Mm. So, overall, everywhere else, yes, pretty good. But 
I did feel like my ankle was just moving however it wanted. Mm. It was just moving reckless. One of these ones again. One of them ones again. Yeah, just moving again. however it wanted. You want to be stiff. I need it to just stick Stop with thin. me. I hear you, bro. Stick with me. Roll with me. Yeah. I need you. Yeah. Play with me. Yeah. Play with I hear me. you. I hear you. I hear you. Instead, you want to do rebel. Rebel will go away. You want you to know. do. You don't want to stay at home, you're going to lay out yeah. at night. You want to, I don't know where you at. You're it's wearing late. less and going out more Come all on. of a sudden. No, 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 I can't have that. Can't have that. No, no. But all that being said, it's a six. That's still pretty good though. It's good. It's just not as high as yeah. we'd like it to be. Yeah. For Especially sure. when we're talking everything else about the shoe. I mean, it's a six. Yeah. It's a six. It's a six. For good reason. For good, for good, for good reason. You're right. Now looking at all the scores of the Harden Volume 3, this shoe comes out at a 7.8 out of 10. A 7.8, strong for a third shoe. Very strong. Very consistent from what we've already seen on the line. Fit, cushion, bang, severely. A1. Let down a little bit, do I have traction? Small, small. And the support. Traction a little bit inconsistent. Support, just a little too low for, yeah. for, for my liking. It, even though it's still good, yeah. but just a bit reckless. I hear you. When we're talking that ankle support and whatnot. I hear you. So that is everything from the Harden Volume 3. Thanks again to the lovely people over at Pro Direct Basketball for sending these through, very much appreciated. If you want your pair, head over to their website, link will be in the description below, and you can get a pair of the Harden Volume 3s. They've got all the colors. All the colors. Every color you want, you can think of. It's there. Bang. This one bangs bang. severely. I like that color, right? This one bangs severely. The all gray? <laughs> <laughs> this boy ain't gray. Oh, no. All gray, baby. Yeah, yeah. Grab all that. gray, all day. Grab that. So lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell as well to make sure you never miss a trick when it comes to pure kicks. Very, very simple. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button and follow us on our socials at This Is Pure Kicks across the board. So right guys, there you have it. This is the Adidas Harden Volume 3. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it. Let's get it.